Hello, I'm Drek and welcome to Space Engineers. Uh, in this episode or in this video I'm going to do a sort of tutorial on how to build a modular, I don't know, tool I guess. Um, it's done before, I've seen it done before and that, that was why I wanted to do it and the idea for it was, well, really cool. It was awesome. Um, and why I'm doing this sort of video is because basically I just feel that people, there's enough tutorials or guides on space engineers. Um, I'm sitting here sometimes going, holy crap, how did I, how do I build this and how do I build that? Uh, and I test it out and it doesn't really work. Like, for example, my big um, gate here, um, which is now the new air tight block thing um i had to temporarily <laughs> disable this because basically the blast door broke a lot and it seems that it's not it's the basic problem for for pistons and blast doors and heavy stuff and i just couldn't freaking build it so i just went and went and, go and said okay i i, I give up I don't know how to do it, I, I give up. I do have some ideas on how to make this a little more... Uh, not so small, because I really want a large gate, because it's a large hole. Um, and I just think that these, what, four blocks? One, two, three, yeah, four blocks is pretty limited. Um, so maybe I'm going to put some pistons here and hopefully I can figure out how to not have everything collide so that whole, the whole row here will move up and still fit um, at least two or three or two at least two so so yeah um, that was one of them uh, well basically I wanted to show how to build a ship like this now I'm not going to build a, the ship itself because basically it's, it's just the bunch of blocks it's like a five by five platform um and a three by three or three by what is it five one two three four yeah five um it's basically a small ship it's there's nothing more to it you can design it how you want to i just wanted something fast functional um really easy to build and not so resource heavy because i wanted to use this as in at the first uh, like seconds of the game uh, after getting some some stuff dug um, and some resources, so I have um, I have this uh, what is it called now? This is the AC fusion reactor, tiny. This outputs uh, 300 and, uh, megawatt. Is it megawatts or kilowatts? I can't remember. Uh, or make it what something uh, kilowatts. 300 kilowatts. Um, it's the, it's the max output, whereas the vanilla one is, I think, 100 or something. It is very small, uh, and you need like three of them to reach this one's capacity. And this, oh, it's kind of what module you want to put on your ship. So with modules, I mean like if you take your ship over. Now I I, I built this last time. This is the it's a module. Uh, hanger or a place to put stuff, uh, modular stuff. So basically, they're locked down. They still keep exploding on me, the landing gears, even though they're not locked really on or singing through. I don't know how or why or, <laughs> well, <laughs> whatever. So, so yeah, um, I'll just clean this because I forgot that. Okay, so. So I, I want to build, I lost my drill. Now I have had a really small drill that I used just in the start to gather some iron and uranium and it could zoom around here and get get some of the stuff from these asteroids and and just, it wasn't a really big one and it, it wasn't really a mining ship. It's just helping getting your resources done very fast. But the cool part is I kind of 
swung around uh, disabling my ship or dismantling my ship all the time because I was like yeah um, I need this and I don't want to make a new ship for it because hey hey I didn't have the resources so basically what I, what I did was um, I remembered that someone had done, some, done something like this before and like you just put you drive up to one of these saying I want a um, I want um, what is it? Um, oh, the um, the welder on. I want to weld something. You just pick it up, and now your space forklift is a welder, and you can go weld your your base. And uh, I made it so when there's nothing on it, it will light green, so you can always see what which one is which, um, which one you're you have nothing on so you don't have to like if you have a lot of these it will make it easier to, to spot this the, the place it is and just put it here I jump out I go to this and I p pick number one I lock it down and I did unmerge it and there we go um, really f easy really cheap way to have one tool or one ship to do everything so I have a, a small uh, passenger seat here so I can go collect people if they crash into something or can even put two on and you can you can build it how you want to and basically it's just a seat gyroscope uh, a reactor thrusters I have two left two right to front, to down, to up, uh, and three for forward. And you can put it as many as you want on it. Build how you want to. I just went for the very easy design. I thought about putting a roll cage on it and yada yada, but I never really got around to it because just I this just works. There's nothing more to it. It just I pick it up. I go pick some of these uh, modules up. And they're really easy to build. So so let's see if I have some inventory stiff stuff. I don't. Of course I don't. So you'll see me running around like an idiot because I usually do that when I need to build. So I really probably need some of these and some of these. And I'll just going to pick some of the things I might no, not good or need the small ones. Uh, large steel tip basically. Probably need that too. So you just go into G. You make a new small ship. Plunk it down, assemble it. Now you have a ship, but you don't need a ship. You want a module. So let's build um, 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 oops, a grind, a grind, not a grinder, um, a miner module. So basically, I th think it needs to be one more. So basically, I just. Last time I just did something like this, um, and you can do it however you want to, basically. But I'm just I want two two drills on it. There we go. That should be enough, and I need at least one back here. Now I'm just not going to make the ship like I'm just going to assemble it then you go and find the merge block uh, now it that is this one I think yes put it on here and of course small steel tubes I knew it I uh, hopefully have some in my no, grinder nope other side uh, this is a lot. A lot of this is manual. Oh, st small steel tubes. There we go. Um, a lot of this is, uh, I have done is manual because well, it, I just needed some stuff that works. Okay, then we picked uh, a drill. If it wants, there we go. Um, just the regular vanilla ones, and I usually go and sp let's see, spin them around like this. Was this really too too big? Can I put it? 
yeah, you can do it however you want to. It's I'll just put it like this, this for this time around because I'm going to and construction component. I'm out of, of course. Thankfully, I have a lot more. There we go. One drill and a half drill. Large steel tube, of course. As I said, I'm running around a lot in this game. There we go. Um, that's basically it. So on the other one, I put like a tube. We can we can put that on spotlights. Uh, let's see. Now I'm having a problem with with the game. I'm not sure if it's on my side or if the game, um, but I can't play um, multiplayer with my friends anymore for some reason. Um, I don't. I won't want that here because I'm just going to do something else. But yeah, basically you can fit your ship however you want them to be, um, with how whatever you want to. So if you want to put some spotlights up here, can I put it no there? I can put it there instead. There and and like this, and then you have some lights on. And what I did on the one that kind of flew away was I was putting some, let's take this away, we don't need that anymore, uh, some conveyor stuff, some small conveyors, conveyor tube, small, and where's the small conveyor the thing, there we go, and let's put a conveyor here, make it, and uh, let's see, how did I do it last time, no, I'm kind of confused. It's, a, it's hard when it's like very low, but basically I put a connector on it down here. I hooked it up to the conveyor system. Uh, I think I actually turned these around, but let's just do that. I think that was actually better. Oh, too much in my inventory. Let's just milk, make the drill the other way, turn around, turn around the drills. Um, the drills, there we go. So basically, this and and oh, wrong button. Oh, I could keep turning on the wrong one. Yeah, I'm I'm not as good. I'm not really that good at the space engineers. So to be fair, I keep turning the wrong button. There we go. So is this high enough? Yeah, let's put it one higher. There we go. It doesn't really matter. Let's do it the same with here. There we go. And just there we go. Assemble it. Pick up. Assemble it. Assemble it. And a large steel, large steel too. Very there we go. And assemble it. There we go. Uh, and. Then did I kind of do, I think I did something like putting a 3x3 three three here, there we go, and a connector, oh, I need to clear, okay, no, never mind, <laughs> damn it, wrong button, wrong button, there we go, and a connector, and now the problem is I can't really pick up the ship, but I can go, pick, I can take this, and I can hook it, hook it up. Now, keep in mind if you're doing um, the um, landing gears, they might get stuck doing this. So usually, I keep doing this. Nothing under there. No. There we go. D disconnected. D lift the ship. I actually need to lift it a little bit more. There we go. Plunk down this, this again. This way it doesn't explode the whole platform as it usually do. So eight. Let's put the connector. It's really big, so but let's put it there. Um, and it probably won't connect as good because the um, landing gear is here. But it it really doesn't matter. Let me just put one there, one conveyor here, and one here. Let's just assemble it. There we 
go. And over here as well. And then you just take your tubes. So that's... Uh, I need a straight one to start at 5. Nope. No, no, no need for a straight one. It's the it's a curved one. There we go. Oh, interior plate, of course. Let's see. I should have some here. Yeah, there we go. I actually think... Isn't there on the floor? No, not. Let's not that. Those. So... You can do this and then... Uh, let's see if we can actually rotate it the right way. Uh, there we go. And there. That way, everything gets collected from the... And it will be yellow or greenish or whatever color that is. Um, you'll see it better on this side. Did I turn off my lights? I did. There we go. Uh, six. And then just this and this. Oh, th God damn it! <laughs> Round button. There we go. I always press two instead of one. I don't know why. There we go. And it's hooked up. And now, when I mine with uh, drills, the it will go down to the. Um, I need to in <laughs> to get stuff out of my inventory. I have to wait too much stuff. Let's just have a. 82, that should be enough. There's some steel plates here. <laughs> Battling with the fly, that's really annoying. Uh, there we go. So, basically, that's that's it. Um, of course, this setup will kind of probably get stuck underneath uh, because the drills isn't that long down but then you just have to like finicky around let's so let's go here and let's fly over to this place and and you just go and find your well actually you if you press k and you find your drills you go in and make it into a group so drills save and press g groups drag it down here i usually use on and off uh, and then go. Oh, I want some some iron. Turn off, turn on the drills. Get some iron there. A little bit, of, and you can see it will disappear because they're going into the connector instead. It has a small buffer, eleven thousand four hundred twenty liters, and basically it will put it down there. Um, so when you're done mining, turn off these, fly back to your base. And if you have a connect, I, I, I use it at an ejector and um, collector before, but then I realized that the connector is way better and faster. And you don't have to wait or try to maneuver. Uh, oh yeah, I remember, I made chicken legs for this. Um, let's see if I can zoom out a little bit. I made some chicken legs uh, for the miner specifically because otherwise it will. No, it's it's okay with this thingy. Uh, do I need to turn this on? Because it's not connecting. Should, yeah. So you just take your connector, go there, and turn it on and off. It's on. Off. What is. Why isn't it working? Of course it's not working. As soon as I make a video it doesn't work. Have I turn it off? Shouldn't have. Uh, let's go down here to my reactor and conveyor connector off on. Uh, owner me. I tried this because I had a lot of problem with lag and I tried it to, someone said it might be that, yada yada and oh there we go, it needed to be me, so there we go, uh, now it's yellow, jump in, and press, press B, and it's locked on, uh, and you can't see that because for some reason the, uh, 
for some reason the camera spasses out when you lock onto this, but yeah, now it is. It is dumping in the refinery. Uh, it should be. Is anything not working? Because I put down to nobody. Uh, probably. Oh, just heard myself. Let's just check that. Uh, let's just do... Uh, can I do everything here? To the time of luck. Everything transferred to me. There we go. This should be mine now. For some reason that didn't work. I don't know. Are they running now? Yes, they're running now. That is really odd. Need to be owner. I need to be the owner. Let's see what it is. Inventory. There we go. So yeah, the refinery should be processed the little that little ore, and and basically you you have a small miner um, module that you can use for like just start out without like having to use way too much resources on it. It's pretty cheap and it's fairly fast, quick. It's a bit overload. I might need a new an, another reactor, but yeah. Uh, that's it. That's how to make a. Now, now I need a, some a, a bigger <laughs> platform. I'm afraid, uh, basically. But yeah, this is uh, really f easy and quick and really cool to me. I can just hook it off here with the merge blocks. Go pick up the grinder, the tower, or my vacuum cleaner. Which do I have it? I still have still stuff in there. <laughs> 11k uh, iron. Uh, I was mining out this place and I was just going around going T, 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 T on the floor, picking up all the the iron ore and it just took forever and I thought there must be a better way to, doing, to do it than to go, ro go around picking it up uh, by hand and I just remembered that we have the collector um, and fitting it like this, and you can go around. It, it takes some time, but it's faster. And it stores them on, in this one, so. Cool block. Yeah, uh, that was it for this <laughs> very small tutorial. And uh, sorry if it wasn't too detailed. It's just basically a way to you save resources. Uh, it's not too expensive to make. Um, it's rather efficient. Um, it's really good when you start out. It doesn't take too much uh, uranium, and you can even mine the uranium, and you don't lose as much. You still lose stuff um, by mining with miners, but you don't lose as much as you can as you usually do when you do it by with the drill, the hand drill. So, so yeah, um, that was it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the this small tutorial and hope to see you next time uh, like and subscribe uh, and have fun goodbye